Got her. Female. What's going on, fishing fam? We out here at El Cap Lake today. Nice and early. It is 625. Hopefully we can get on some bass today. Today we're going to be using live shiners. Just got a dozen and a half from East County. The bass should be moving in pretty shallow. It's been warm recently. Actually, we had a cold front come through a few days ago, but the last few days have been warm. So hopefully the bass are moving up shallow. It's uh, pretty much post-spawn right now at this lake. I haven't been here in a while, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the majority of the bass are post-spawn at this point. So they should be hungry. They should be feeding up. There should be some big ones over here. And uh, I just want to stick a giant today. I need redemption. Last time I was here, I kept getting broke off around this dock. So that's the plan today. Stick a giant. We're just going to go ahead and get to it. All right, guys. So on my ugly stick i just have this i'm just gonna free line it number four size number four hook owner hook and i'm uh, just gonna grab a shiner dang they gave us small ones bro these are hella small they're like crappie shiners Dang, they gave us hella small shiners, bro. Dang. Shout out to East County Bait and Tackle for hooking us up with the small mediums. I just hook them right through his bottom lip. Straight up through the top. On this one, I have a bobber stop with a little slider. I like using the small slider because... It allows the shiner to still swim around, but it also will get the shiner down to the bottom if need be. Just gonna let that chill. That got you. Oh, already on. Oh no, we dropped it. Huh? I told you I was gonna be on right away. Dang. That thing was <laughs> killing drag, huh? Yeah, he was dipping. Dang, I was already on, guys. He's still there. He'll still eat. Been here for maybe five minutes. Dang! I got hit, and now Andy got hit. That thing almost pulled his pole in the water. If I wouldn't have grabbed it, your pole was going down, bro. I know. Oh, that's a decent one. Oh, yeah, fatty. I just gotta be careful. Let's go. You want me to get it for you? Dang. Oh, you only got four, huh? Yep. Don't let them take you under. That's like a three. Ah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. That's like a three, almost four. <coughs> let's go, bro. <laughs> Here, he choked it. Let's go. I had to make sure my other pole's not getting hit real quick. That shit did not take long. That might have been the one that just blew up right there, huh? Probably. Ooh wee, Andy with the first nice one. You want to put him on the scale? Yeah. We we know he's pushing four. Let me revive him real quick. Oh, there's hella bait fish right here. Good. That one's pre-spawn. It looks like, huh? Maybe it was on a bed. How much is it weigh? Four point seven. Oh, I just broke off. I think it was stuck. I think the fish was stuck on something. Come on, guys. Oh, it feels good, too. Oh, little one. Better than nothing, I guess. Skunks off the boat. Dang, fat male. Dang, little fatty. Choked it. This guy is fat. Dang. How 
are they that fast? That guy was fighting. Did you see how he was fighting? Yeah. Dang, fat little guy. See you later, little buddy. Something's blowing up on my shiner, guys. Look, I don't know if you guys are catching that. He's trying to get it. He's blowing up on it. Oh, no, got a tree. Bro, something was blowing up on, on something right here. I thought it was my shiner, but, oh yeah, my shiner. Oh, something was blowing up on something swimming on the surface. He was literally right there on shore. I dropped my shiner right there. He was looking at it, and then he like went over it. I couldn't get my shiner out. All right, guys, so. Apparently they don't want anyone fishing the dock anymore because they're going to be having water contact starting today. So uh, one of the city workers came, kicked us off the dock. And so we've been fishing around this little area next to the dock over here by the boat launch. Didn't get any bites. Within the first couple minutes, my drag went out and then he dropped it. And then I broke off on one. Andy caught like a four pounder and then I caught a little small one. It was gonna be good. I could tell, we, we got bit like so quick right away. But now we're gonna head over towards the dam area, down by the stairs, see if we can't get something. So I'll keep you guys posted. Way down yonder, that's where we're headed. That's where the giants live, the land of the giants. We're gonna catch them on crappie shiners. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Since they gave us freaking crappie shiners. Look at this, these are the size of the shiners they gave us. And we just dumped them all out in the car when we were driving. So now the whole back of my car is wet. But, you know, that's what we came for. Look at the size of these shiners, guys. These are mediums. These are freaking crappie shiners. But at least all our shiners are still alive. A couple dead ones. But um, we're going to go down there to the land of the giants. Stick some donkeys. The guy said he's been seeing a lot of boils. It smells like weed, huh? Dude, that's the same sweater I have. Is it? Yeah, it's the exact same sweater I have. Same color? Uh huh. That's the one I just used to mop up all that water. <laughs> I bet you there's one right on the other side of this rock. Look at this little guy decided to munch. I didn't even know he was on there. I saw my line moving, but he uh, he was just sitting on it, straight choked it. The small guy wanted to munch. Let a little buddy. Swear to God, is it a big one? How you gonna get it? Want me to get it? How am I gonna get it? On this side? Dang. That was on a bed? I don't think so. It was literally Susan touched the water, came up and took it. Dang. I had to close the door. Dang. Another three and a half, four. <coughs> Dang. Killing the game. It, it blew up on top water? So, like, literally, as soon as it touched the water, it came out of the grass, out of Dang. nowhere, and just slurped it. We gotta throw shiners over here. Dang. Another three, and that's like pushing four, huh? Dang. Decent. Nice one, bro. All right, let's release her. She doesn't look spawned out. She looks a little spawned out. Come over. Oh, uh, you're good. Dang. Got him. Got him? Yep. Mm. Oh, this is fun from way up here on top of this rock, just watching them. Oh, my line broke. You snapped? 
Dude, there's something wrong with this line. Gotta be. What is that, like That's the third time I snapped off. There's gotta be something with this wrong with this line, bro. That was a good like two and a half. Nice little guy. Good little, little buddy. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. breaking off because I think there's something wrong with that line on that other pole it's 10 pound Iser line but it uh that line's really old it might be something might just be real weak line Oh, broke me off. How? I don't understand. It broke right at the knot. Got her. Female. Right in the top of the mouth. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get it. Woo wee. She's about four, huh? She did the same thing. As soon as I popped it up and brought it past the bed, she was on it. Let's go. Let's go. That made my day. Wasn't breaking me off that time up. The male was gone. It was just the female. How much she weighed, boys? I'm saying four, four, five. She got a stomach. I say four, two, five. I can't see. There's a glare. Oh, almost the same as your other one. Let me see. Turn it this way. Can't see. There's a glare. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, oh it went down to three, nine, four. Went down three, nine, four. Oh, three, nine, nine. Three, nine, nine. We we'll call it a four pounder. She's decent. Decent one, guys. Get that. As soon as I popped it past the bed, dragged it further, she came up and crushed it. Hella nice one. All right, baby, you're still full of eggs. You get your back to your bed. Nice big fat girl. See you later, mama. Man, I just caught that four pounder. That made my day. We've been out here just grinding it. I've, I've caught like two or three small ones though. And I was just telling Andy that I wanted to catch one that was over like three pounds. And I uh, finally managed to get it. As soon as I popped it past the bed, she just crushed it. Um, I've, I keep snapping off, but we think it's because we're fishing around a lot of rocks. And he just lost his jerk bait. So I'm not the only one breaking off. But we've seen a few beds here and there. And we've caught a couple just random probably uh, post spawners. So... I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully we can get some more. I don't know how much longer we're going to be fishing, but Andy's probably going to catch one here in a second. Is he still going for it? Got him. Hey. Hey. Let go. Let's go. Damn, it's a decent male. On the Ganta rail. Let's get it, though. 
Operation Save Lure. At least it'll dry off fast. Because yeah, it's hot. It's gonna shit's gonna drop off quick right there. I know how long It's about to get cold. I gotta go down too. Dang. How cold is it? Oh, too damn cold. Three, go. Don't get a hook in your finger. I know, I hit the hook in there. Oh. Got it. One. There's another one? Yeah, I got what? my pool shad down there. Really? Yeah. Dang. Put the jerk bait back. That's a pretty jerk bait. All right, cool. Got him on the jerk. Dang, he was bigger than I thought. That took so long. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. All right, fishing fam. That's gonna be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Me and Andy were both able to catch four or five a piece. Caught some on shiners, some on artificial. As soon as this wind picked up, the bite shut off. It's about three or four o'clock now, so we're able to get out here for a few hours and stick a few, so good day all in all. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell to get all the notifications, and uh, hit that like button. Until next time, peace.